In the run-up to the congressional vote on the Iran nuclear deal, a full-page ad in the New York Times rebutting arguments from pro-Israel opponents of the deal who want the U.S. to renegotiate, warning the current agreement could lead to a nuclear-armed Iran. But 11 former members of Congress, all Democrats, all Jewish, took out the ad saying the deal actually halts the immediate threat of nuclear-armed Iran. One of them is former eight-term representative Steve Rothman, who joins us now. Thank you for being here. Mary Alice, it's a pleasure. What do you know that Benjamin Netanyahu, Israeli leaders, U.S. Senator Robert Menendez, and all the Republicans don't? Well, first, I'm a pro-Israel advocate who supports this deal because it is the best way to prevent Iran from getting a nuclear weapon and at the same time allowing the United States and the world, including Israel, all of its military options and diplomatic options in the event Iran might want to cheat. But uh, there are measures to prevent a possible cheat on the part of Iran? Oh yes, there are robust unprecedented inspection and access provisions in the agreement, more than has ever been in any such agreement of its kind. And again, the United States reserves all of its military options as well as diplomatic options. So we spent the last two years negotiating this deal with the P5 plus one countries, 90 countries around the world support this as a diplomatic means to prevent Iran from getting a nuclear weapon. We should pursue this. And if Iran cheats or violates the agreement, we have all of our options. But we're going to, we should go ahead. It's in America's and Israel's national security interest. Israel thinks it's a threat to their security. Well, uh, it wouldn't be the first time pro Israel folks disagreed about something. And uh, I was served in the United States Congress for 16 years, uh, was the mayor of a city here in New Jersey and have a vast governmental uh, and legal experience and been involved in military and intelligence matters. I have an opinion and so do the former chairman of the Senate Armed Services Committee, mm -hmm. Carl Levin. I served on the House Appropriations Subcommittee on right. Defense. And why, uh, we, we have coming, a, an opinion about this as well. Why we are you coming the back into the spotlight on this? Well, I came back because lots of people asked me, Steve, what do you think about this deal? Is this something that's in America's interest and in Israel's interest? Because others are uh, saying it's not. And I spent so many weeks and months examining this agreement and talking with experts on both sides, came to the opinion this is very much in America's national security interest and Israel's. And it would be awful if I just kept my mouth shut and didn't share my view, especially since people asked. Senator Cory Booker is undecided so far and is under pressure. <clears throat> he could be a make or break for this deal. Um, President Obama needs every single Republican vote to get it through. What do you, would it, how big a blow would it be if, if uh, Cory Booker voted against it? Well, I have a great deal of admiration and uh, respect for Cory. Um, for Senator Booker, um, and I hope he votes uh, in favor of the agreement. As you know, uh, the Republican members of the Senate, all but uh, uh, one so far, have announced they're against it, and we're looking for enough Democratic votes uh, to either sustain a presidential veto or uh, remove the need for a presidential veto. I, I hope uh, Senator Booker votes for it. I believe it's in the interest, best interests of the U.S. and Israel. Steve Rothman, thanks for being with us. Pleasure.